Hi everyone, Justin here. Do you have a job or responsibilities where you're spending a huge amount of time copying and pasting links from the internet and sending it to your customers or clients? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a new feature of Microsoft Edge that's gonna speed that up. My name's Justin and this is Justin's Tech Tips and Tricks and I show you skills that'll help you level up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we try to use the new smart copy and paste feature is we need to make sure that in our settings in Edge that the feature is actually turned on. It should be on by default, but just in case, we'll go up to the settings area in Edge and we'll go down to settings. And then we need to go to this place here, share, copy and paste. And you'll see on mine that I do have the option turned on. So it says share, copy and paste, URL, copy and paste format default. And mine is, um, mine is set to link. But if you don't like this feature, you can actually switch it back to um, plain text. And, uh, and you've also got an option here of use the formatted selected above when copying links within web pages. So that's, it, is if you're within the same same web web page. So now we've checked our settings to make sure that the setting is in fact turned on and that we've got the smart sharing feature activated. We're now going to go up the top and copy and paste our link. So what we're doing today is we're going to send this article on clothing, laundry and dry cleaning expenses from the ATO's website. We're gonna copy this and put it into an e email. Now I'm using Outlook, but you could be using Gmail. It works exactly the same way. So I'm gonna go into my Outlook and in the body of the email, I'm going to paste. Now you can see that's come across as a very clean hyperlink. And now if I go Control Shift V, it pastes it as just a normal link. So you do have the option of pasting it just as the normal link. But if you're sending multiple links to a client, you're gonna to wanna to send it in a nice clean format. It's gonna make your emails look a hundred times better. So that's all you have to do. Okay, at the start of the video, I promised you that I'd show you a a feature that's only available in the beta version of Edge at the moment. It's the Smart Copy Peach feature. And what it allows you to do is copy and paste things that are quite complex and reproduce them when you paste them instead of getting the normal mess that you'd get when you copy and paste. So we've got here this list of countries by GDP, nominal. And if I scroll down, you can see that there's a table, table here, quite a big table. Now, um, you're probably aware that if you were to copy and paste this normally, you're just going to end up with a huge mess. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and copy and paste this table and then put it into Word. So I'm going to go right click and then I'm going to use the smart copy. And you can go Control Shift X as well. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm just going to copy this table. And now this table is a bit too big, so um, I'm only going to do up until um, Israel here, go up to number 33, because you see it, it is struggling a little bit. I guess this is why the feature is in beta, and I'm going to go copy. Then I'm going to open my Word, and I'm going to then paste it. Now, this does take a little bit of time, but as you can see, it's recreated that table almost perfectly. But just so you know, when I was practicing this, when I went to copy the whole table, it almost crashed my computer. So um, be a bit realistic about how big the data set that you, that you can copy um, at the moment. Um, yeah, if I try to do much more than what I did, I was running into, running into problems. But... Uh, for any of you doing research or study or things for work, I think this is going to be 
an incredible time saver. So it, it honestly, this feature, depending on the kind of work that you do, it's worth downloading the beta version for. So I hope you like that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like that video, please subscribe to my channel so you can get future Justin tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.